act on this. You're tired all the time when all you're doing is cutting yourself. It's blowing in the breeze to follow season. This is what you used to do to stop cutting. Please. Maybe this will help you stop squeezing that ice all the time. When I heard that you were bulimic, I don't know, I just, I used to binge eat. And I know that you kept saying that you thought you looked fat, but you still looked healthy to me. How could I not see that she was bulimic? That she was in pain? Oh, how could I be so stupid? Agape is a theatrical production based on the topic of self-harm. The story itself centers around a ballet dancer named Abby. She is 16 years old and she feels very controlled by her mother. And so she begins to cut. Now her mother also cut 20 years before. And so she was a, she, she got healed from it and she was an advocate for self-harm, at least she thought she was healed. And so she's been an advocate for self-harm, preaching the dangers of it, and while her daughter is cutting right under her nose. And um, it kind of deals with that emotional trauma. And it's actually based on a real life story from a friend we have down in Mississippi, who, who was preaching to people all over the country about the dangers of self-harm while her daughter was cutting. And so I was really interested in this story of how it feels as a parent when you go through some sort of tragic thing. How does it feel when you try to prevent, try so hard, to prevent your kids from going the same, through the same thing, and they do anyway. The goal of Agape is to encourage discussion. We know that self-harm uh, plagues one in five teenagers, teenage girls, one in seven teenage boys. Over a half billion people in the world are affected by self-harm personally. That's just who's, who's actually doing self-harm. And then there's all the countless people that are affected from it. So our goal is to bring a discussion, to bring this to the light, to hear what God says about people that are self-harming. That night, I went home and I sliced my upper right thigh wide open. My name is Janet Hodson and I am playing Sarah in Agape. I really didn't know very much about self-harm. In fact, the theme of the play kind of bothered me. But as I thought about it, I realized that we all self-harm in different ways. Maybe it isn't cutting, but maybe we overeat, maybe we drink. Uh, maybe we sabotage ourselves in a whole lot of other ways and so I decided to come to the audition and even though I couldn't relate specifically to that theme I could find things within my myself to help me connect <laughs> My name is Amanda. I play the character of Abby. Uh, she is a very um, complex girl. She has a lot of emotions. She keeps things inside a lot. And she has a lot of pressure um, put on her by the world and her mother. Um, and then she chooses to um, cut as an outlet for her frustration. I really didn't know much about self-harm before the play. Um, I knew it was out there. Obviously, when I thought of self-harm, I th mostly thought of cutting. Um, that's what ca came to my mind. Um, I knew somebody in high school who cut once, but I really didn't, it just boggled my mind. I just didn't understand it. Abby, what's wrong? Who's that at the door? Nobody! Can you please go? Abby, you're scaring me. My name is Beth Bordenkecker. I will be playing Joan Barlett. Uh, she is Abby's lifetime friend. And she and Abby have a complicated relationship at times, but they will always be true to their hearts. Before I became involved with Agape, 
I didn't know a lot personally about self-harm, although I have seen how it affects people within my life. And um, I just wanted, moving forward, to know more, to be able to have an open discussion about it, because I believe that without discussion, without transparency, uh, we can't move forward. And I think that's the point, is forgiveness and moving forward and moving on with our lives in a positive manner. The person that self-harms could be sitting next to you at church. They could be down the street. You could be walking through at the grocery store and meet with them. And you would never know that they do this to cope with emotional trauma. So when we went down to Mississippi to interview this person uh, for this production, she got a call from a middle schooler that cut. And so we went down to the, they had an emergency school board meeting. And at the school board meeting was students, teachers, and government officials. And uh, Tracy Lewis, the one that was organizing the meeting, asked all these middle school students, how many people do you know cut or have cut yourself? All but two raised their hand. And then they asked the adults, how many have heard of cutting? Only two adults raised their hands. And the question is, when we don't know it exists, when we catch our daughter or our son with cuts all the way up their arm, and we didn't even know it, they did it, what do we do? Well, we might react in a very negative way. We might, like, what are you, crazy? Or why are you doing this? Because we would get scared, we would get frightened. And that's why we need this discussion. We need this discussion so we can reach out to people. So these people that cut also are not afraid to come out in the open so they can seek help. I'm gone.